guys what is up welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hey girly subscribe so we can become best friends well in today's video i'm just going to be showing y'all some of the makeup that i bought recently like i ordered stuff online two weeks ago and they barely came in last week but i just never had the chance to record or make this video well i probably did but I was too lazy to do it. Well, uh, I purchased some things off of Ulta and BH Cosmetics. By now, I could have gotten myself a camera, but I didn't. I got makeup instead. I'll just be showing you guys uh, what I got from Ulta first. So the first thing that I bought from Ulta was this uh, beauty blender kit, which comes with two original beauty blenders and a cleanser thing. This retails for $45, I think. Cleanser by itself, I saw that it retails for like $18. I'm not quite sure, but it's not the... Uh, I don't know if it's original size. I was going to go for the Real Techniques uh, sponges, but I was like, go big or go home. So I purchased the Beauty Blender Kit. The next thing that I purchased was the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade or CW04. I'm currently wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's like, it's really lightweight. I think it's a good drugstore concealer. Let me swatch it for you guys so you can see the color. And this is like my actual skin shade, so I didn't go for a lighter one. At the store, they didn't have any testers, so it was like a hit or miss. I mean, I could have returned it if it wasn't my shade. That's the shade. I don't know if you could see. I would probably be too lazy to return it, so I'll... I would probably just keep it and I'll return it. But it's good. I like it. The next thing I purchased is the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. I already have this mascara, so I don't know why I got another one. But it's. It looks like this or whatever. She's cute, huh? And I'm currently wearing it. It's a good mascara. Would I recommend it? Yes. So that's all I got from Ulta, and the next thing that I purchased, now from BH Cosmetics, I did purchase a couple of their palettes and two uh, brush sets from them, because I wanted to test out the brushes to see if they were good. So this was a palette that I originally wanted from BH Cosmetics, that's the reason why I went on their site, but then I saw other palettes, and I was like, I need to have them as well. It's the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, just wait on it you'll probably like fall in love as i did too it was like love at first sight i saw it and i was like i need to have this palette look at the colors aren't they so pretty this is the perfect like color palette that you need i know morphe has one but i think it's discontinued so i just got this one let me swatch some colors for you guys uh i'll swatch the yellow one which is like more i'm like the most excited for Look at that. They are pigmented. You just have to know like how to use them properly. And let me do the blue one. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that, but there's not a lot of fallout. So that's the palette. The next palette that I got is the Blush Neutrals. It has 26 colors. It's a eyeshadow and blush palette. This is a packaging. It's kind of like Morphe's packaging. So when you open it up, she's cute. So the reason why I got this uh, eyeshadow palette is because it comes with blushes as well as a lot of like uh, earthy tones, but yet some like popping colors. Uh, the two blushes that I mostly will use are these two i don't think i'll use this these two probably just for eyeshadows but it's because the colors are really dark and i'll probably use this for like eyeshadow base the next palette that i got was this carly bible deluxe edition so it has 15 eyeshadows and six highlighters the packaging is so cute so when you open it up it's like that. It has marble detailing in the front. It has a mirror. So uh, the colors are so pretty. Like I love this palette because it has a lot of neutral colors and a lot of gray highlights. I really, 
recommend these. If there's like any palettes that you guys would like me to try out or film a video with, let me know for like first impressions. So those are all the palettes that I got and next I got these two brush sets. So the first one is a sculpt and blend 10 piece brush set and they look like this. this. So this one I used it for my under eye and they're really soft. I haven't seen any hairs fall out or anything of that but they work really good. I really like these brushes and for how much they are they're really cheap so maybe you guys should pop yourself a pair. And they come with a lot of face brushes as well as eye brushes like this is like a good starter brush kit. So as you guys can see. And the last makeup item that I got was the Rose Quartz 9 piece brush set. Which is mostly like, it comes with mostly eye brushes and a couple of face brushes. So I haven't tried these out so I'm not sure how great they work. But they're so pretty. Oh, these are soft too. Oh yeah, these are really soft. I think these are softer than the other ones. It's I really recommend these brushes. These están baratos, like they're not exaggerating like prices. I'm not sure what you're supposed to say in makeup hauls or like, I guess I just show what I bought. <laughs> and that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all those things. Follow me on all my social medias. So that's it for this video. It was pretty short. I just bought a couple of things. It wasn't too big. And I just hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And turn on your post notifications to see when I upload. And yeah, that's it for this video. Bye, guys. And you talk me down from every ledge. I teeter and totter and tip.